I'd like to thank the conference organizers for giving me the opportunity to share the work with you today. I apologize for not being with you, but I applaud the effort and hope that Erasing Boundaries 2 is a great success. My name is Kofi Boone. I'm a professor of landscape architecture at NC State University in the College of Design. The presentation that I'd like to share with you today is about research we're doing with smartphones and cell phones here. Uh, the paper is based on research conducted with interdisciplinary colleagues, uh, Dr. Chalen Pashalar, uh, Dr. Robin Dodsworth, and Kermit Bailey. And the work you're going to see was designed to support an ongoing community design effort to develop a heritage trail through South Park, East Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, I'd like to also acknowledge our community partner who uh, we've been working with for the past two to three years, South Park, East Raleigh Neighborhood Association's Preservation and History Program. So cell phone diaries became an opportunity for us to explore the implications of individual site-based mobile technology enhanced asset mapping and compare those results to other methods. All of our partners uh, who participated in cell phone diaries had previously participated in one-on-one -on -one interviews as well as uh, community visioning workshops that were asked to use traditional mapping techniques from workshop settings uh, to describe uh, their, their points of view. The study focused on Chavis Park. So Chavis Park is an historic African-American open space uh, near downtown Raleigh. And we asked participants and partners to describe uh, what places had meaning for them in the park. We asked them to shoot self-authored videos and narrate them uh, using the cell phone device. The cell phone devices were programmed with one touch uh, upload to a blog that we generated. Uh, they also had the option of leaving their videos on the phone and when they returned them after a week of use, uh, they, uh, we could download them. Uh, all videos were geo-referenced, which meant that they had a tag that let us know specifically uh, where the videos were shot in Chavis Park and we were able to mark that on an online map. Uh, we designed a training protocol for our students uh, to become tech buddies so that if community partners got confused about technical issues in the field, how to handle the phone, how to uh, upload to the blog, how to manipulate the technology, uh, they could one touch on the phone, call someone for assistance. Uh, in many cases, our tech buddies also served as chaperones, as many of our population were senior citizens. Uh, so they actually uh, had a more enhanced role than we anticipated, which we'll talk about in the results section. Uh, but generally, we had 17 participants. We had 58 digital videos. We performed content analysis on it. And next step, we can share the results with you. Our last part is the phones and the service were donated by AT&T. So the smartphones and their service were at no cost to our community partners. I don't want it redesigned. Uh, I like it where it is. Um, I mean, do you have any memories from when you were? Uh, we, yeah. Okay, we're at. Uh, I'm. Cr I'm actually facing across the street. Across the street, it was a street from. Um, the merry-go-round and there was a pool Olympic sized pool there but I've, they've made some modifications some changes now this part I don't really recognize uh, the playground and all of that I don't it was not there it was just a pool uh, a piccolo which is a jukebox was on this uh, concrete area teenagers would dance. We got in a lot of trouble because of that because we just enjoyed watching them dance. It would be in the evening and we were not supposed to come down but can you imagine these six-year-old girls uh, squeezing the, and some guys then some boys too 
slipping down here and squeezing through the crowd to see the best dancer da dance was a uh, dancer called Rubber Legs, and he always had a crowd around him, and we would push through that crowd, squeeze underneath just to take a peek. Then we would run back home because because we knew that we were not supposed to come down here. Where you know, we just have great memories of the wonderful athletes, Bill Crockett and, and, and others who went on to universities throughout the nation and start, became star athletes, you know, playing for major universities and stuff. And some went pro as well. And from the top of our trees over here, you can see the skyline of downtown Raleigh. And we know that this is what should be uh, valued about the value of this park because it is in the downtown now, but the downtown is expanded found that in workshop settings, in a one-on-one -on -one interviews, even though some of the same uh, basic places, people and events uh, were uh, discussed, that being in the place itself prompted a longer narrative, a more detailed narrative, and there were certain uh, environmental situations within the park that encouraged threads and themes that we didn't get from other sources. Uh, two examples are the role of Chavis Park in the founding and organization of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, or SNCC, uh, and that was prompted by women in the park who participated in the founding of that organization, seeing nearby Shaw University, which is where the organization started, in eyeshot from the park. Uh, another example uh, was uh, uh, identifying uh, the location of historic elements that no longer existed. Uh, you just saw a video clip of someone describing the piccolo uh, and rubber legs. So uh, being in the place actually prompted uh, certain levels of information that we weren't able to get from other sources. Uh, the last part was uh, some difficulty with the technology as a result. Uh, even though we had a training protocol, people went through it. Uh, the they acknowledged that they were able to train it. We did demonstrations uh, so that they could master the, 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 the techniques within the workshop setting. Uh, there were different levels of reliance on our tech buddies, our graduate students, uh, who were trained uh, to support uh, the community partners in the field and use of the technology. Uh, in a lot of cases, because our partners were primarily seniors, uh, senior African-American women, uh, some of them needed to be chaperoned, physically taken to the park and escorted around. And in some cases, the uh, video process became less self-authored of them shooting and walking through the park and more of an interview where the cell phone device became uh, essentially a camera and they participated with the camera almost as if being in an interview. Uh, but in this case, this has service learning implications where our uh, students were primarily young, uh, white, Americans who had very little knowledge and very little connection to historic African-American part of town. But because of their unique expertise in dealing with the technology, there was a basis of partnership and collaboration such that they were able to have a rapport and a relationship and engage in the storytelling uh, with the uh, community partners. And this is something that may not have been possible through other means.